Okay. I'm gay. Check, check. Everything looks good here. Well, let me piss real quick. Oh. Well, well, we started already. You so. started? Yeah. You I'll hold piss, it in man. for an hour, 20 minutes. That's fine. We'll give them an extra jumbo. Piss in your pants. I'll pee my pants for the pod. I'd do anything for you boys. That'd be a funny joke, huh? <laughs> yeah, visual. It would be funny if we, we've all been pissing our pants and never spoken of it. Mm, like astronauts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or we could go diaped up, you know, so we don't have to take back. You should. Break. I don't want to say it, but you should start wearing a diaper, man. It'd be cool dude, to I got, do. I piss and shit a lot. I shit like three times a day, dude. It'd be cool to do all the work to become an astronaut, and when you're ready to... Like you build bonds with the other guys you're going to space <laughs> with or whatever, and then like they're strapping everybody in for the trip up to space, and they're putting diapers on everybody, and you're like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what? And you're like, no, nah, no, nah, man, I'll just do it like regular style. <laughs> yeah, like, please, brought- please wear a diaper. And you're like, nah, I just, nah. I'm gonna go in the suit. I'm going to suit. I also brought a Gatorade bottle to piss in. Sometimes my turds are small. They'll go in there. <laughs> yeah. You could probably shit Rapper in a Gatorade yeah, just bottle. Just turning the inside of the air, the spaceship into like a Vietnam veteran's garage. <laughs> 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 just jars of piss everywhere. Old paint. Yo, fucking uh, shouts out to Benny O'Brien. I don't know if he even like this revealed, but he lived in that horrible... Betray him. Betray in him. In that horrible... You ever go to the copycat in Baltimore, that horrible yeah, yeah, warehouse? Yeah. It was like one bathroom for like five units or whatever. Mm-hmm. And my man would have like 12 big-ass deer parks full of piss <laughs> just like hanging around his fucking apartment. Like yeah. he would have to like... Take, there was a day scheduled for like piss removal, dude. He would fill so many bottles. Howard up. Hughes style, baby. I used to piss in bottles quite a bit as a youth. My mom found you a, were doing that recently, though. Oh, you're you're pissing in plant pots, huh? <laughs> you're pissing in plant. No, that was during flower my, pots. That was during my medical disability. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get up to use the bathroom and the flower pot plants. You're just pissing on succulents. Nature's urinal, dude. Yeah, that's something we yeah. don't use them enough for. You know, we should be doing that. You got a house plant? That's a place to piss, bro. My friend used to piss in like the sink in his basement. Respect the pissing in the sink. Yeah, because it was unfinished, so it didn't matter. Yeah, it's it's an unfinished basement is anarchy. If it's got concrete on the floors, you piss anywhere. You do whatever you want. You do heroin. It's like in a there. Costco. Oh yeah, you piss anywhere in a Costco. Yep, you have sex. It's like international. They don't waters. have carpet. Yeah. <laughs> an unfinished basement is fucking beautiful, dude. Your brother's got in the in the Beemore house. We do. The, the gym, house, the home the gym. The estate, the home gym. Did he put a squat rack down there? No. It's all, it's just, surprising. Just, I know. He, 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 I think he just hasn't worked on it. He's been working a lot. He's been just like training, training hot bitches, hot like moms and shit. Uh, Damn. And, he's, and he doesn't fuck of any of them, dude. He has integrity. It's crazy like how different me and my brother are. He's like such a nice, just like mm-hmm. always having a good time, doesn't have any, like not mad or sad about, I mean, he gets mad, but he's not like sad about shit. Mm-hmm. Just, I would try, I would be trying to fuck all those MILFs I was training if I were That's him, gotta dude. be a weird feeling to see like somebody else that had like the same exact circumstances you do, but Genetics. Like, yes, yeah, like same inputs and then they turn out like so much better. They're not like in every way. Yeah, <laughs> he's hot as shit. He's got a full head of hair. Full head of hair. He he could fuck so much, but chooses not to because he's like focused on other things. He's not like he's not like he doesn't obsess over anything. He's the uber male. He's great, dude. I wish I was as hot and sexy as my little brother. I wish I had my life as figured out, but the Lord unfortunately blessed me with incredible intelligence. <laughs> And I've had to use my brain, whereas my body is failing. Yeah, <laughs> I have to become a strategist. <laughs> I have to be. I have to be. I'm working on. Sh- I'm working on fucking campaigns, dude. Yeah. I'm fucking Elizabeth Warren's new campaign manager. Now, first thing, shorter skirts. Get the sex appeal for up. Liz. For Liz. Yeah, she's got to slut it up a mm-hmm. little bit more. Yeah, I'm right. That's my <laughs> issue with her. The policy, uh, rolling policy after policy. It's cool, but it's not sexy. Enough. Hey, yo, a po- lot of people, Pocahontas, I'm trying to see that Pocahontas exa- ass. Exactly. Dude. A lot of people, like, you know, they don't, you know, they try to talk about, like, Elizabeth Warren. If you like Bernie Sanders but don't like Elizabeth Warren, it's misogyny or whatever. Mm-hmm. Because they don't understand, like, the difference between the two of them. And it's like, they have very similar goals, but Bernie Sanders obviously is, like, he's a, a, democratic, he's a democratic socialist. Right. You know, 
Whereas Elizabeth Warren is just some dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> with democratic socialism, you want right. to actually move towards like right. socialist policies. Well, whereas like Elizabeth Warren has a lot of similar goals in terms of like mm-hmm. the end result. Mm-hmm. She's still just some dumb cunt. Some yeah. fucking bitch. Some, yeah. Who are you going to trust? Bernard? Mm-hmm. Or Elizabeth? <laughs> Little Lizzie? I ain't talking at Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it Harvard Law. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, bitch. Go make me my fucking Boo. dinner. <laughs> oh. I was a single mother and got a law degree. Yeah. She was one of the women janitors at Harvard. Exactly. She solved a really hard law problem on mm-hmm. the de- on the board. Oh yeah. What's a law problem, Adam? You had you used to go to law school. I didn't go actually. I was oh, just you never accepted. Did. Oh shit! But I would have known all the laws. If what I did were. you write your law school essay on? Um, the Ayatollah Khomeini. <laughs> you have to draw a picture of the Star of David to get into <laughs> yeah. the application process. It's hard to get it right. Draw a st- picture of the Star of David and then an outline of the state of Israel. And if you draw two states, oh I could do yeah, both. that's you're, it. You're you're in trouble. Pal. You're in real trouble. I see a United. You're Israel gonna get a from... fucking knock on the door, pal. Mm-hmm. From Excuse me. The Mediterranean yeah. to the everyone knows real Israel includes River Jordan. West Bank, Gaza Strip, Egypt. Golan Heights, Egypt, <laughs> Jordan, the United States of America, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Con- Congressman, the Bank of England. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, don't get me started. The Rothschilds estate. Mm-hmm. You already got started, Adam. Seven hundred years ago. <laughs> oh, it was longer than that, buddy. <laughs> well, I'm talking about like. It would be cool if everything anti-Semites said about Jews was true. Like, if they were just, like, that smart and cool. I think it's one of those, like, self-fulfilling prophecy sort of things. Like... It's like everyone's like, oh, white guys are all Nazis. And then last year, white guys were like, I guess we'll just be Nazis. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And they started running people over at, you know, little (laughs) get-togethers. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> a little get together. Yeah. Well, you know, whatever you call whatever's going on. Down yeah. There. Protest. Yeah, they were having a little. I don't know. It seemed like more like a little, little meet and greet, little powwow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Reddit meetup. Yeah, for uh, <laughs> for socialists. And yeah, guy. yeah. I don't. I choose. I choose not to remember his name. Yeah, the guy. You, know, you don't Valley, say the name. You don't say his name. Mm-hmm. I just remember the type of car he used. It was a Dodge, Dodge Charger. Right? Hell yeah, dude. I love that the car. That is she more got famous. a Hemi, baby. That's that's the kind of news I like. Is when the car gets more <laughs> attention than the guy. <laughs> R.I.P. Heather, though. Mm-hmm. But it was a Hemi. The car did have some horses. Mm, yeah, it had it had some ponies under the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah. Let's. Would be cool if he used a Ferrari. Some car that costs like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That if you're gonna go to jail, he's in jail for like ever now, right? Yeah. Yeah, you might as well get your money's worth. You rent that motherfucker. Yeah. Because you can rent rappers rent cars, so you rent if you're look exotic cars. Do not do hate crimes with cars. Mm-hmm. Right. If you were to do one, however, you might as well go the fuck off and get a fucking Murcielago or some shit. When I was a kid, they used to do those uh, world's wild, wildest police chases specials. Mm-hmm. Of course. They had one with a guy who like was ex-military and he like snuck back onto the base or wherever in California and stole a tank. Hell yes. And, like, went, so it went, that went, fucking yeah, rocks. Went down like the 101 in a tank. That rules. And I, I fucking loved that video so much when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. That's the shit you think about when you're a little ass kid. You're like, I'm going to yeah. drive a fucking tank mm-hmm. on the fucking highway. No you one don't... can stop me. That would be awesome. I used to think Hummers were so sick when I was a kid. Yeah, it's funny. As a kid, you have fantasies of like meeting Santa and then like killing every police officer. <laughs> <laughs> Like both of those in your head, you're like, what if Garfield was real and we hung out? And it's like, and then I have a laser that I use from the blimp and I murder the president. I kill him and then everyone has to, I kill all the cops and they're trying to stop me, but they can't. And I can also punch them so hard. (laughs) My robot body. And I just go home and I eat pudding and and I hang out. The Polar Express is real and then I hang out with Santa Claus. (laughs) 
I'm gonna come back and I murder every <laughs> every type of authority. <laughs> <laughs> I just strangle my fucking third grade teacher with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah. I, no, well, I never I never wanted to kill teachers. That was not a thing, a fantasy I had as really? a kid. Yeah. Cops definitely. And not from like a woke thing. It's just like you know, you the imagine yourself you having do. like all this power or whatever and it's like who, cops are so powerful. Well it's like who's gonna stop you is the police. That's why the the appeal of the tank video or whatever. Mm. So you wanted to be a fucking a, a demigod. Yeah, kind of. That would be tight. The teachers never... I mean, the fantasies you have in ki- as a kid about school is like, you know, that they, you get to be in charge of the school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the know, lamest fantasy. Like where everyone writes you in as like student government president. Yeah. And you're like, I don't even want this job. Right. But as long as I have it, <laughs> to recess every class. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I won that shit as a joke by accident. Mm-hmm. What, what I grade? Was, I was uh, in high school. Student I was, body. I was the, yeah, I was the senior class president. Damn. And my, shit, really? my, my, my campaign was a joke. It was literally like, we're going to have prom on the moon, baby. We're going to have fucking... And then what, not only did I win by accident, but uh, one of my friends falsified how many, votes. How many kids are even in a senior class in a Baltimore public high school? Like six? No. no it's Polly, like, we had like 300 kids in our Everyone class. drops out by like what? Second <laughs> yeah, grade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone has to go work on those corners. Well, the thing so. is that the pregnant girls get to vote twice. Oh, no. So nice. that's why that's why there's so many people. Because it's a human life. What was, the name, <laughs> the, boy, what was the name of the boy After on the wire? After six months. Whose mom was making him sell drugs? Naaman. Naaman, yeah, because he, <laughs> he, was, he needed to be cool like his dad Weebay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you get your ass out on those corners now. Naaman. <laughs> <laughs> he had beautiful hair, that Naaman. Yeah. But yeah, my friend Carmen actually, not only did I not win, I won by like six votes, and my friend Carmen changed 10 votes. She literally falsified the election for oh, me. So you rigged it. I rigged it. I literally colluded. Damn, DNC style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Call me Stavi Wasserman Schultz out this motherfucker. I ran for a sophomore. Sorry to my friend Ian, who I, who Ian, I won't say his last name, but he was. You stole it from a friend? Well, I knew him. We weren't like boys, but he was. We played football together. Did he know you stole it? I don't think he knows. I don't think anyone knows. Damn! Now the world does. Now the world knows, dude. Yeah, your friends never know when you steal things from them. <laughs> hey, what do you mean by that? <laughs> oh, it's just an observation. Oh, okay. <laughs> In life, <laughs> <laughs> people people will smile to your face and they're just robbing you blind. <laughs> You know, <laughs> pretend to be good friends with you. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of people are parasites. I've found. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, wait, what like, who? Sense? Like, wait, wait, what are you talking about? Just a lot of the people. Like in anyone life. in your life? You're talking about currently or in the past? Oh, I mean, I don't have friends anymore. This, I, this is something you've gotten over, yeah, or is it still the, people the cats, in your life? The cats. Uh, the relationship between me and the cat is pretty clear. <laughs> I, I feed it and house it in exchange I get to fuck it <laughs> power I don't exercise but the cat knows that I can oh, you yeah. reserve that right of course and that's what the tension is what keeps everything in line yeah I love that dude like a high wire act mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah will my cock slip into this fucking cat's pussy or not mm-hmm. just like the guy the guy between the Twin Towers, that French guy. Yeah. My cock is the French I didn't watch guy. that documentary. It's supposed Man to be the, the greatest documentary of all time. Yeah. And it's like the no only way. way that's true is if the di- the middle of the documentary captures him walking across the towers as the planes smash into it. <laughs> that would have been cool. <laughs> That's that's the only way. That's the best documentary that's Damn, ever been made. Damn, that would be awesome. That dude. picture yeah. is photoshopped, right? The like the one of the guy on the observation deck with like the plane, like right behind him. He's like his friends taking a pic of him. No, actually, there was a guy on top of the twin towers, and they took a picture mm-hmm. of him as the plane smashed into the building. Okay, all right, all right. And then yeah, I had to the, the film right. survived. The film, yeah. Falling, yeah. Oh, because the film is in a black box. Yep. Yeah, yeah you're right. The plane yeah, where right. that I vaporized. My question. <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> that's wild that you seriously uh, asked yeah. that question. Mm-hmm. It's a great photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great hell of a job they do. God damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the dumbest things I've ever said. I'll put that up there. I really am glad I was not in nine eleven. I'll go. I will say that in the tower that would have sucked, dick, bro. Mm-hmm. You got to jump. Wait, how many? Did anybody? How many people survived? 
Anybody? Um, the Jews. <laughs> right. Well, they all called out of war. They were, yeah, they all, well, I guess that technically makes them survivors, even though they weren't there. <laughs> That's why John Stewart's trying to get all those health benefits. It's really not fair that none of the people died were the ones that moved here to do comedy. I know. It would have been tight if there was a, a, a way dog walking mm-hmm. like meeting that day. Yeah, just fly a plane <laughs> at ground level through Bushwick and kill everyone walking around in the middle of the day. Maria Hernandez trying to decide <laughs> like what kind of juice to blow their money on. <laughs> That is really sad. Just theme. see beet beet juice splattered on the sidewalk. Yeah, <laughs> we probably told this story before on the pot, but Nick and I one evening just watched a, like a thirty eight year old. Still man one of the greatest things I've ever skateboard seen. Skateboard alone, not doing any tricks. He doesn't know going, how to do any drinks. He was just going in a circle, this like Volcom dad looking guy. The most serious look on his face. Yeah, and it was like respect. You couldn't. He didn't know why he was doing. It. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know why he was skateboarding. He just had to do it. <laughs> Damn, dude. I like this cat's arms. He's got powerful arms. The cat rocks, and man. And a really nice coat. Still no name, no name ever? No, I'll wait. I'm waiting. In, honestly, I'm waiting until... I have an appointment with the vet, but it's the one Amber recommended, and they, they like take fucking like a month and a half before they... Because they come to you. They come to you, Oh, yeah. shit. So I want to make sure the cat's not like... You know, she gets here, and it's like, oh, it'll be dead in two weeks. Before you get attached. I, I mean, I'm already attached to the cat, but I feel like... Once you name it, you can't eat it either. Yeah, yeah. Let's call it New Ernest. There's a Chinese couple who lives next door. I was going to sell <laughs> sell the cat to them if it turns out to be sick. Oh, if it was bad meat. Yeah. Well, they won't buy it if it's bad meat. They dude. won't, know. Well, he doesn't have to say it. Oh, they don't speak true. I bought lettuce in Chinatown the other day, and it had flowers on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I love how bad they are at doing this shit. Oh, shit. The cat sees something. Is there a mice? Yeah, probably. This fucking little bitch got excited, dude. Yeah, there's cockroaches back there. Oh, okay. Is that where you keep it's all It's a your... cool part of living in the big city is all the fucking cockroaches. <laughs> Actually, to be honest with you, it was much worse in Texas. Really? Yeah. Fucking Baltimore has hella water bigs. Yeah, there's silverfish in here, too. Fuck that, dude. Why is that? Why do they get such a cool name? Well, silverfish sounds tight. Because yeah. water bugs sometimes means cockroaches. Yes. Like water bugs, June, June bugs, cockroaches. I've hear, heard people t- try to tell me that the little cockroaches and the big cockroaches are different. And it's like, no, that's just a... No. Just they grow One into that size. One eats more. Well, the bigger ones, I think, are just the adult... The baby cockroaches, is like a fucking billion of them. And then the larger ones go out and, like, you know, live their lives. Yeah, So dude. you only see one of the big ones. The baby ones, it means there's, like, a fucking egg sack or oh, something shit. nearby. Oh, shit. Because that used to be a pain in the ass. When I lived in, in Austin, you'd, like, move a dish, and then it'd be, you know, if the lights were off, too, there'd I be, like, that 400 cockroaches. The lights and, turning on, and you're fucking, you're sneaking in. You might be, I don't know, let's say a, a fat nine-year-old trying to get brownies that your mom left on the table and told you not to eat. Mm. You're trying to be fucking silent. You turn the lights on, and then you squeal like a little bitch, and she hears you. I've, re- I've, never, the been, are covered I've never been bothered by, by cockroach. Any bug, Me really. neither. Silverfish like freak me out a little bit. Too many. Those plants. are the the millipedes. Oh, like I don't a, like those fuckers. Yeah, those yeah. are weird. And like, but those only bother me if they like run across my hand and I don't notice them. Cockroaches, I've never had a problem with. They're just fucking unsightly. Yeah, spiders, I've, I can't deal with. I I tried finding it, um, but I don't think either of the zoos offer them here. But apparently, like some zoos offer like a arachnid desensitization program. Whoa, really? Yeah, you just go and then they it's hang like out to Yeah, well, they spend yeah they spend the day like taking progressively larger spiders and putting them on you until you're not afraid of spiders anymore. And it yeah. works. Yeah, I mean, because like there's no rational reason why you should be afraid of fucking spiders. Because they're venomous. I can I would destroy them. No. In any kind of combat situation, no, it would they fuck have the you scariest. Up. Like it would black put webs widow, around. That's your... a really scary name. Mm-hmm. It would yeah. put webs around. They're your like, arms. what kind of spiders are you afraid of? I'm like, uh, black widow, black uh, daddy long legs, <laughs> black. Uh... <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why this spider program isn't working for me. <laughs> I've like... decided to to like that. I'm I'm cool with the uh, the rats of the city. You know, some people's like no. white people's like dogs will be real sweet and then bark at black people yeah so it's like a couple and they're on their way to some like boutique ice cream store and they have their son with down syndrome who's like smiling at everyone (laughs) you know (laughs) and then a black guy walks by and he's like 
no, <laughs> no, get away, get out of here, no. And they're like, I'm so sorry, he's not usually like this. No, get out of here. Get this guy out of here. Back to Africa. Yeah. No, not explicitly, but like no, the way no, a dog no. would, you know, yeah, just like, yeah. no, no, you know, it's a, you're like, <laughs> I'm sorry, he's a usually, retard for being he's racist. usually, well, they're like tugging on his leash and they're <laughs> like, come on, come on, Donnie, don't, get him out, get sorry, out of here. He, need, he, he, out. Got, he needs his nap. Yeah, he's sorry. Hungry. He's, he's re- I swear he's usually not like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, I understand. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I found that black, <laughs> a lot of black women really do not like my dog. Mm-hmm. Interesting. When I walk Are down you sure the street, it's not just you. Yeah. Oh, I think it's probably the dog. Did you, sure you get it to like me. scare black people? No, nope. no, the dog is is fine with people, but uh, because a lot, a lot of, of a lot time of, I get like uh, a lot of people do that. They, a tongue click. They get or a pit. A, oh, they get a no. pit bull under the guise of it being like you know, oh, it's a rescue or whatever, but they think of it like it's like protection from the black people in their neighborhood. Yes. No. It's actually quite you the, that it's the opposite explicitly. reaction from a lot of black dudes uh, compliment me mm, on the dog. Respect. And they say, oh, that's a gorgeous animal. That's a beautiful dog. Mm-hmm. You have such command. I've been it. propositioned a couple times to get her to breed. He's like, yo, look, can I show you some pictures? Really? Yeah. They want your dog. And I'm like, oh, they I want I, that dog pussy. I said, I said, that pussy's trash now. I got her fixed. I got it filled up. They're like, can I can my dog fuck her in the ass then? Uh, I don't think you can conceive that way. <laughs> yeah, but he just wants the dog to get a little pussy. Just though. a dog that's into anal. <laughs> 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 Do any animals fuck each other in the ass? Dolphins fuck each other in the blowhole. So basically, any animal will fuck any hole. Do monkeys fuck each other in the ass? I think that only f- uh, only a couple species have recreational sex. <laughs> no monkeys fuck each other in the ass. Uh, they must. They might. Their dicks are so small. It's so funny. The great apes. Chimpanzee I heard dicks. giraffes fuck each other in the ass. Like male giraffes to have gay sex. Do they? I think so. Penguins are supposed to be gay too. Hell yeah. And do they just suck penguin. each other off or do they just hang out? It'd be cool to see a like a boa constrictor or whatever around a giraffe's neck. <laughs> <laughs> just all the way up. Yeah, just that's how it decides to eat the giraffe or whatever. But the giraffe's like walking around for a while trying to get it off. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It just looks like it has a big scarf on. <laughs> what the fuck is a giraffe? Like a horse? It's a big ass horse, dude. It's a long horse. It's a horse, right? No, they're different. They got a, it's like a different. No, nah, dude, it's a horse. Phyllus or whatever. Uh, is it, does what it are they related moves? to? I don't know. Somebody get the people. People They're were cows? arguing with me last time when I said there was only four types of great apes. How many are there? Bonobo is a type. Bonobo is a type of chimp. A I chimp it was is a different. great ape. Chimps, chimps, chimpanzees. Bonobos are. Uh, they eat each other's pussies. Chimps are no, like girl bonobos. Yeah. Hell yes. Yeah. There's there's chimpanzees Hell known as yes. like pans or whatever. I don't know, but I mean, there's like bonobos. And chimps, as you know them, are like both part of chimpanzees overall. There's like mm. seven different types of orangutans, but you wouldn't list all of them when you're talking about really? the great apes. Yeah, rangers, gingers, rangas, yeah. rangas. I think there's there's a couple types of gorillas too. I'm gonna say a giraffe is half horse, silverback. Yeah, I think so. Or like a don- it's, yeah. Ever since I saw that video of that little girl pounding her chest at the gorilla and then it shatters the glass at the zoo, I've Hell been yeah. so tempted to try that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. They really take offense to that? They get mad. They're fucking pissed, dude. I this thought is they funny because if you flip them off, they just think it's like they just learn to do that to people. That's, That's awesome. Great. Some of them smoke cigarettes. Mm-hmm. What if you showed them your hole? Your asshole. You presented your asshole. I don't know. I think that's like that's a mating. Tool. That's how. That's like politics to them. <laughs> <laughs> so they, that's how they know you're. Oh, you're voting. trying to get political now, bro? Yeah, voting for Bernie or. Mm-hmm. The queer eye guys were hanging out with AOC today. Oh yeah, I saw that. All of them except for Karamo. What's Karamo's Karamo MAGA, dude? dude. <laughs> He's one of those gay black. <laughs> right wing dudes. Damn, my gums hurt so much. Yeah, you went to the dentist today. Mm-hmm. 
What'd they do to you, boy? Well, I have gingivitis. The Ooh. gum disease known gingivitis. as gingivitis. So they had to fucking, like, dig underneath my gum. Ah, yeah. fuck. What? With a little fucked up little scalpel? Yeah, thing? yeah. It was excruciating. Ah! Did they, did I, didn't bother, I didn't bother looking at what the instrument was. Did Ooh. they give you laughing gas? No, they gave me Novocaine, Just but Novocaine. It, it did... Almost nothing. Yeah, you can Dude. feel everything. That's fucked doing. up when they like miss a spot and it's like numb, 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 and then they just hit something that isn't numb. And you're, it's just fucking excruciating. Yeah, so I got to go back there next week and I got three fillings I got to do. And then Damn. Gonna, you're going to take the look to see if the inflammation has gone down. If it hasn't, then I got to go see like a, a peri- periodontist or something. Yeah, because the gums have like receded so far that it's. I gotta now be on like Sensodyne or look at some kind of like yeah, gum got... regeneration fucking shit. What is it? Pills or like a salve? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know what they do. I mean, I uh, the only thing I know. I mean, I didn't talk to them about it, but I know they have like surgical grafting. I don't know if that's like necessary. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they... I would imagine you could just like cut it and then stitch the two sides together. I think right? they take a, a yeah. patch of your balls and then <laughs> graft it onto your gums. It's the same. The inside of your ball. If you turn your balls inside out, the inside it's is just very gums. similar to gums. Yeah. Mm. So That's what I've heard. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Oh, uh, damn, dude. Yeah, I'm going to get my tooth hopefully the last weekend in April. Mm-hmm. We'll see, boys. Your new tooth? Finally, I need a bone graft. Though. Yeah, I was disappointed too because I was like, I was thinking about maybe getting some of them replaced with gold, and mm-hmm. the, the, they they were like, can't do that. Well, they were like, what? <laughs> what? And I'm like, well, you know, if the teeth are going to be a problem anyways, I might as well have like a gold one. They're like, no, your teeth are fine. Your gums are destroyed. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So the yeah. solution is gold gums. Hell yeah. That's not an option. Well, you well, should well, think outside the, the box. The science bro. isn't there yet. You gotta get you there. Could be a, you could be a fucking uh, uh, <laughs> uh, trendsetter, dude. You could be like those trans ladies in the 70s. It'd with be cool if my dick was titties. so fucked up, I had to go to an office to get it medically sucked. <laughs> I have to numb it because it's so painful. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting a fucking uh, needle you, into your, your dick. dick has become, it's uh, because it is so fucked up from, uh, you know, not uh, using condoms. I can see that you haven't used uh, any type of protection for a long time. You have to, uh, we, we will have to do it. A deep clean of the dick, <laughs> and I will be sucking your dick uh, for f- about forty-five minutes, hour, and we. It can be quite painful <laughs> because I have to use my teeth to um, make sure that the suck. Uh, yeah, suck all the dead skin <laughs> off your dick, and the the virus becomes sucked into my mouth. <laughs> Yeah. She's just like a regular doctor's office in Iran. That's what they have to do to, to uh, under the guise of being straight. Mm-hmm. They just don't have gay people. They have dick offices where yeah. you go. I have to get my penis. My penis uh, is med- very dirty. Uh, uh, mer- some bad news. It turns out my dick needs to be medically sucked because it is uh, it's really dirty from the sand. <laughs> From uh, here in Iran, that is nothing. <laughs> Everybody's house is a sand castle. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has a plumbing. It's just all sand castles. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the bad guy from Aladdin. <laughs> Construction companies are just big-ass buckets. Yeah. <laughs> they just use the fucking... As you know, the religion in Iran is there's a giant baby who make everybody's house. <laughs> Is a giant baby wear sunglasses to make everybody else? That's what Shia Islam is. Yeah. <laughs> As you know, uh, the religion is a giant baby make everybody's house with sunglasses. But uh, the sectarian violence is because uh, the Sunni believe the baby uh, do not wear suntan lotion. <laughs> and the Shia believe the baby has a little bit of suntan lotion under his eye like a football player. <laughs> and this is why my brother lost both arms. <laughs> and my wife, uh, she has been <laughs> raped by the police. <laughs> it's because we believe that the baby do not uh, have a suntan lotion. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, yeah, they got those doctors. Yeah, the yeah. Dick sucking. Mm-hmm. They used to finger women like 
through when they were hysterical. We yeah. did that. I, I I was surprised that was not an episode of the Nick. Oh, actually, it was, wasn't it? Or no? I don't know if they did it in the show. But wasn't Maybe that they addressed? It? Yeah. I think they mentioned it. Yeah. Man, what a great show! I have I to do that <laughs> to my girlfriend. I want to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I know some medical students. I was talking to this girl like a couple weeks ago, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, just laying it down. Oh yeah, I know. Real good, her. where she stares at me blankly, and I'm like Fargo, the Nick. Uh, uh, a show called Terriers, which no one watched, but I did, and it's very oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's With like, "What are you doing Jonathan right now?" I'm like, "I'm hitting on you by listing things I know about." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, her. Oh, I've been there, brother. I remember her. I actually wait. Who did you say was in Never Terriers? Mind. Wasn't that guy Jonathan Reese Myers? In no. I confuse him with Jonathan Reese Davies, who's completely Jonathan Reese Myers isn't he Irish? He looks like a dog. He, I think he's British. He was in that movie Paris with Love. No, uh, Terrence is the guy from Grounded for Life with the wife with the big ass titties, the blonde lady. The guy from Grounded for Life that he uh, was in Terriers. Wait, what show am I thinking of then? I don't know. Some where guys what kiss. You're thinking of what? Um, no, I don't think this guy was in Terriers. Jonathan Reese Davies is the big fat guy from uh, uh, Indiana Jones. I don't know that guy. I, I only saw Indiana Jones once, and I thought you know who he is. He's he's Salmon or the big fat guy. He was also nope. in the TV show Sliders. Oh yeah, that guy Donald Logue. You're right. Stuff. Thank you. Yeah, Donald Logue, and then Swish. the other guy Brett something. And I thought you were referencing him, and I'm like, how the fuck do you know that guy? Right. And you don't know Donald Logue, anyways. It's so, cool how he doesn't have a D at the end of his name. Is it Donald? Donald. Mm-hmm. Well, he foresaw the election of. <laughs> don't we say. Not, it. We shall not speak him, his, his him name. Him shall not be named. Mm. They, they, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, they. Bonald k- bump. Bonald <laughs> crap. <laughs> you know what I call him is what? shittled, <laughs> literal human shittled garbage. <laughs> Who's that fucking that Trump reply guy? Um, Jeff Tiedrick. Do you know him? Oh, no. yeah. That, that guy, guy sucks, dude. That guy looks like his underpants are so uncomfortable. Well, I'm, I was trying to find tweets of are it. Are you looking at his dick, Adam? Remember, no. remember Trump's doctor? He also, I think, is like a reply yeah, guy. Yeah, dude. Trump's doctor rocks. Well, this guy looked exactly like... This guy looks exactly like Trump's doctor. Hell yeah. So I was trying to find yeah. tweets of his about my old boss. Doctor. My old boss used to go to Trump's doctor when really? I worked at that all-women's divorce law firm. Really? She was like, "Yeah, he's he smokes cigarettes and he's a doctor." Did he? Did she ever get fingered for hysteria? I think by yeah. him. I think that was the basis of his. That practice. guy probably honestly looks like he could finger really good. That yeah. picture so of him here's, in here's the lab coat, like in the leather chair. That's yes. the only picture at his desk. Right. Yeah, that shit rocks. No, there's also a picture of him online smoking a bug. Oh, nice. There's one other picture you saw, huh? Well, that's the one I would picture. never look. <laughs> <laughs> you looking at pictures of guys, Adam? Dude, you're looking at pics? So this is this is Jeff Tiedrick, okay? He's the Trump reply guy. Yeah. And then here is Trump's doctor. I mean, they're fucking identical twins. What the fuck is this? Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, Nick. All right, well. I can't look up your usual uh, 5 p.m. gay pornography. I don't. I don't look up five p.m. gay pornography. <laughs> Dude, that. Why did your Siri say that? Yeah, though? I don't know. But look, this is okay. So there's that guy. There's Trump's doctor. Yeah, and Adam. Here's, look, here's Jeff Tiedrick. These yeah, are. They look like the same. They're guy. the same exact person. <laughs> What's Jeff Tiedrick up to? Who is that guy? I don't know, but he has a Patreon for yelling at the president <laughs> to earn sixty dollars a month. <laughs> <laughs> His Patreon Respect. says, I'm, I'm a loud money, mouth Jeff. on the internet. If you're here, it's probably because you've seen my posts on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Damn, Facebook, huh? Mm-hmm. My man Jeff's on Facebook, too. Yeah, I don't. I can't really... I don't know what he does other than... Is he an academic or just a guy who yells? Um, I, I don't know, dude. Like, I who really... the fuck are the Krasensteins or whatever the fuck? They're these two gay brothers that... But who the fuck were... Like, I don't they get They get it. really jacked and they kiss each other. They're also, they have go. you heard them talk? They talk like munchkins. Yeah, they have their own podcast. I haven't listened to it, though. Is it good? I listened to a second that someone posted on Twitter just to see how their what their voices are like. They literally sound like the Lollipop Guild. Apparently we got a shout-out on some kind of fashion podcast. Fashion? Fashion? Yeah. 
Not ist? Fash, fash the nation, I think. It's <laughs> no, no, no. No, there, there is, yes. I don't know. Somebody, I don't know. Salute. I got an email. I got an email about it. I don't know if it was Fashion positive. Fashion podcast? Yeah. I don't know if it was positive or negative. Dude, negative. we should be in with that world a They're little bit They're probably more. saying Adam dresses like shit, but Nick and Stav are the fucking taste No, makers. that did come up, though, at one point. Yeah, uh, didn't it come a, up on like fucking Stormfront or something? Yeah, like, yeah, n- Adam's yeah. got terrible taste. No, it didn't come <laughs> up on Stormfront. You're changing it to Stormfront because yeah, you'd like upset. it. You'd like there to A-chan. be an ethic. It was an on A Chan, right? No, no, you'd no. like it to be the, for the. It was racist literally person. on like a. Uh, it was an image board, but it was for fashion stuff. So I know it's upset you that they said that you weren't good at fashion. But who said that? We dress cuter than you. I've bitch. never seen what whatever you're claiming to. Failing upwards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Failing upwards. Yeah, those Shouts guys are out. homies. No, they said you're gay. Shouts out to. They, they actually you said you were gay, but that I, that I was. They're cool. boys, Yeah. All right, but shout they, out to Lawrence. You just got married. Lawrence said you're bad at dressing in yeah. clothes. No, he didn't. He said yeah, that he, he wear women's clothes. <laughs> he said he said you wear women's clothes. No, he said he, he saw you wearing your mom's clothes. <laughs> no, he, saw, he, he said, said he ran into you at a I've Whole been Foods a bad a daughter gown. to my mom. <laughs> I was sending him I've pictures my, of uh, my, my vagina ta- ruined my mom's life <laughs> by being a small dick instead of a pussy. That's my mom not... wanted to keep her jewels in my pussy. <laughs> she imagined a beautiful life with her beautiful daughter that looked exactly like her, and they would go everywhere, and she would hide her jewel, her precious jewels and coins in my pussy, <laughs> and I couldn't do that for her. And he was like, "Why? Look, I only listened to like maybe one episode of Come Town. I don't know why you're telling me all this." Or and you're like, "Because you're a homie." <laughs> yeah, you do dress bad. Adam. Anyways, you're that's ugly. just what I heard. Yeah, I well, heard. I heard something along those lines. Is that well, true, Adam? If Nick heard it, it's probably true. Well, that's not true. I miss here a lot of things. Remember when I thought that. That I they wasn't giving away guns store? for free at Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Did you think that? Yeah. No, but this is now a Family Guy flashback podcast. <laughs> oh, hey, Lois. <laughs> I, yeah, I thought there were guns for free. No, you. No, we only sell no. books and CDs. This is just books and CDs and DVDs. Wow, that pressing. was very necessary to remember, Peter. I guess <laughs> you know something like that. Lois, show me your pussy. Yeah. And we're back. Yeah, how about if he wanted to have sex with the mom instead of just kill her? You know? That would be hot. It would also be psychologically true. My rap name. Oedip- Oedipus. The Psycho Truth. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Oedipus Sex instead of Rex. Oedipus? Oedipus. Oedipus. It is cool that Rex means king. Yeah. That's fucking tight. Why? Rex, like T Rex and shit. Yeah, but that's, I mean, it's because <laughs> it's, it's one came yeah, after but it the other. Sounds cool. T- it wasn't. It's not like they named. It's not a coincidence <laughs> that Tyrannosaurus Rex is. No, dude, yeah. that was the name of it at the time of the dinosaurs. Yeah, dude, you fucking. They idiot. still had names. <laughs> yeah, where you think they didn't call each you other? You think or they anything, named dude? the dinosaurs after the dinosaurs <laughs> were gone? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm at I'm, the I'm dinosaurs. And you think it's guys only, but it's G Y N O. Oh, they, like a gynecologist. Yeah, and they're pussy sores. Mm. Yeah. Are they made of pussy? Just like a like an adorable hipster girl. Like you go to hook up with her and she takes her pants off. She's just got fucking herpes all over her pussy. And she's like, <laughs> I call them my dinosaurs. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Just a fucking oh, pulsing yeah. red pussy. Yeah. I don't know. I had sex with 35 guys last night. <laughs> what? What the heck? Yeah. Yeah, my dad my dad really doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, don't ever step foot in Connecticut again. <laughs> Shout out to those girls. Huh? Yeah. Shout out to you. Turning 32. Getting absolutely railed out, yeah. getting herp still, late in still life. Still bar backing. Mm-hmm. Tattoos don't do anything for you anymore. Nope. Um, Probably good at giving now there's dome. Now there's girls that are 21 years old, which seems like a significant difference in age now. Right. Considering where you're at, you can really tell mm-hmm. that you're in a different <laughs> sort of arena now. Different country. Mm-hmm. Different and terrain. 
and you know that it's kind of your fault. Yep. That you got old. You could have been doing something at you 27. You could have fucking, you know, just thought about your career, maybe. Maybe nursing classes. Yeah, but you said, I'll just keep bartending and have fun for a couple more years. And now you're ugly as shit. Probably. Now you're ugly as shit, and you're not aging like the fellas who aren't doing too much better than you. No, <laughs> but our society is designed to make it a give little us every bit. advantage. Right. They might knock one of you up and be okay. <laughs> but... uh you know, dear Lord, thank you for making this hey, society where you could be a fat, bald piece of shit. Look, the alternative is you're a guy that makes a lot of money, and you constantly have to pretend like you're not ecstatic about it. <laughs> you have to pretend like, hey, you know what? It doesn't make life that much better. Right. You got to dress like you don't have any mm-hmm. money, right? <laughs> the same way you would never think to use the R word around an actual retarded person mm-hmm. is how you you have to act all, all the time around <laughs> <laughs> around your former colleagues. <laughs> when you Uber everywhere, yeah. you, you, they talk about the train and you have to be like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's bad. Yeah. I started taking pool, though, because I love the environment. I should start hanging out with people with intergenerational wealth. Yeah, to feel poor again. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. To to learn to to learn how to be old, man. Yeah, to switch uh, to that's be true. part of that social circle. Yeah, yeah. I think that we should have a like a different phases in our success, where it's like there's a tracksuit phase, and then there's kind I'll of never more of a leave tweed, the tweed phase. kind of Connecticut that's, phase. That's the thing. You know, I'm trash, to, and I will die trash. No, I will man. die in a track. Suit. Let's move to Greenwich. No. That's all you motherfuckers. Let's get that Uber, but it's only. I'm for hanging out with mafia guys. And I'm getting murdered by QAnon guys. What's it called? Uh, what's the Uber for helicopters called? The, oh, whatever. Blaze. Blaze. I think. No, it's called Blade. I think. Blade. Blade. Yeah, yeah. Co- yeah, Blade makes more sense than Blaze. <laughs> yeah, Blade's let's just order cool helicopters too. places. Like if not even that far weed. away. If they smoke weed. Let's take a helicopter from Nick's house to my house. Five no. blocks. No. Four blocks. No. Why not, dude? I don't want to. I want to do something else. I always thought it was cool in the in the intro to The Apprentice that Donald Trump is in a helicopter and he just looking at his building. Like that's like part of his job is that he had to look at it from yeah. the sky. Of course. It's pretty tight. I like how everyone pretends like he sucks, but he's actually extremely cool. Yeah, of course he's cool. He's got a helicopter and a building with his name on it. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine having enough money that you can like have buildings built and then still being like, and put my fucking name on that shit too. Yeah. I want everyone to know. Well, isn't it more of a brand? Does he build all those buildings or what? How does I that have no work? idea. The Stormy Daniels big. story was like, what kind of idiot anything? do you have to be to have a bunch of money and you'd be like, oh, I'm going to make a place for people to live? <laughs> Fuck that shit. I'm going, I'm going statues. <laughs> Solid gold statues. You know that building downtown? And that it costs, it, I charge people to look at it. Hmm. So if you accidentally, you make the biggest statue in New York City, uh-huh. you put it somewhere where, uh, unless you want to walk down Fifth Avenue backwards, mm-hmm. you're going to be looking at my statue. And guess what, pal? You owe me 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Just for eyeballs on the statue. You know, it's crazy. You used to be able to do shit like that. Like 1860. <laughs> well, like, he looked at the statue. Time to have my own private police force jail this man. <laughs> oh, no. I thought you meant like you were going to say like you have a retard in a tent and you have to pay a nickel to go see the retard. Mm. That's the circus. It's a circus. Well, it's more of a freak show. It's, it's not. It's not a statue. It's actually the thing I said, and not a different thing. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Although that did you you read Blood Meridian, right? Yeah, I might do a reread of Blood. I Meridian. never finished it. It was fucking got a little too uh, too many words for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Too many words in a row. Yeah, without... I gotta read a book again. I'm starting yeah. to read. Uh, I, f- uh, I forget what it's called. The Tiny Toon Adventures novelization. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm reading the screenplay. I'm getting into... They're children. tiny, they're yeah. toony. <laughs> they're all a little loony. Sorry, dude. I farted bad. Oh, that was a fun uh, Super Nintendo game. The Looney Tunes game. The Tiny Toons. You ever play that shit? It was good, dude. I know you guys are going to call me a baby, but it was a good one. Mm-hmm. Are you still playing it? I would if I it's had an SNES. <laughs> now I have to piss. Now I'm jealous. Were they tiny? tiny. They're toony. My dick. Um, something. 
They're all a little loony. Bo- I mean, they're they're all boony, po- poony, boony. They're all what's boon like? They're all c- they're all a little coo. <laughs> uh, Jewy, Juni. My penis is little. It never has been sucked off. Yeah, I think I might move to the um, suburbs. I'll be tight. To Greenwich, Connecticut? Uh, Take Metro north of the city? Sure, yeah. Like That'd a be cool. businessman? Yeah, like a businessman. Would then you, I go you into wear a Manhattan suit? to do my business. And cheating. Yeah. To have your affair apartment yeah. in Manhattan. Just get off my back. Where did Don Draper? A really hard time. I think Long Island. Oh, nice. No, he lived in he lived uh, in Westchester. I think. Really? I think so. I only watched six episodes of that show. I didn't know people were living up there yet at that time. Well, yeah, Pete nice. was Pete was Connecticut. I know that for sure. No, bitch. He grew up in New York. But he moved with his bitch up to Connecticut. Oh, true. She wanted to, Annie wanted to move up there. Yeah, the bitch from Con- God, community. she's hot as shit. I have to go she into got, the city to do my cum podcast. She got six hits. Do you see her fappenings? Yes. Who? Her fappenings are great. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I highly recommend. Um, the 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 brunette from Community, Marvin, community. Douglas. She's Maureen married Douglas. to James Franco's brother. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Richard Franco. Richard Franco got I was, fat pussy. Not to brag. Not, not What's a, her name? Not Franco a little celeb fat story. <laughs> Put fat puss Franco. Fat <laughs> pussy Franco. Uh, What's her name? Alison Brie. Alison Brie. She's got perfect teeth. Oh, that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, mm. I saw the disaster artist uh, at Metrograph, and they did like a Q and A. It was like before, uh, mm-hmm. like last year, or the yeah. year before. And James Franco and his brother were there, and then they had like a you know reception afterwards. How about James Franco? And I looked at them beating <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looked at them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Cranko's good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the Cranko brothers. There's <laughs> two brothers who like to crank. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, but just in the flesh, like, James Franco is like a fucking movie star. Like, yeah. Piece of ass. And his brother is just nothing. Just a regular looking just guy. Just a regular looking. Franco was eating pussy while teaching at NYU, right? I think he was doing that. He was teaching at like three different schools, leading pussy in different states. Solely to fuck students, probably. He was also getting PhDs for a while. In yeah, Bruce James Franco. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I mean, one of my favorite things online wearing flannel used to be shirts. his little book reports for Vice back in the day. I've mentioned them on the show yeah. before, but he was doing that for a while. Yeah, that's pretty fucking gay, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, he's gay. But... James Cranko. If you ask me, <laughs> <laughs> he's gay. Yeah. James Cranko, though, on the other hand, he's cool. Mm-hmm. But was he eating pussy in class? He's canceled for eating put for fun. No, I think he, he didn't. He never ended up getting officially canceled. Oh, really? They let him skate. Yeah, because he was like sliding into the DMs of like thirteen-year-olds. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Christ. no one cared. Yeah, and he was like, "Hey, what's up?" What's up? You, you, you like wanna, movies? Yeah. You like you like <laughs> you like, you like fucking Express? videos? <laughs> you like seeing videos and shit? <laughs> yeah, me and my friends have been making some videos and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I like skateboarding and <laughs> fucking, you know, hanging out. You want to meet Seth Rogen? Uh, the Neverland Ranch of the James Franco Neverland yeah. Ranch. Peep my aim profile for my cell phone number. <laughs> I used to troll aim away messages and profiles looking for cell phone numbers to just like create lists of people I could harass. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you do like early hacking? Like, I mean, early hacking. I don't were know what you that like yeah, figured yeah, out how to was, steal yeah. people's yeah, phone numbers. You're right. Numbers. I was uh, he was stealing. a hacker, dude. I was a hacker. No, Nick the- did hacking. He was him and Beto, dude, back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he was hacking. No, I thought he you told me you did some shit messages. where you found a way to like find people from like message boards, like phone numbers or something. Or some shit. Maybe. Phone, phone numbers? For phone numbers on the internet. Yeah, yeah. That's not hacking. It used to be. The internet. Yeah, I mean, well, maybe we had a conversation about how much easier it used to be to like like uh steal passwords for forums and shit that's what you're but that's because about. everything was on like i was half listening. everything was on like the same like everybody used like uh i mean i forget the name of even those software packages but everyone would use like 
Linux? No, not Linux, but like not like Pro Boards was a website, but like uh, 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 HTML, like, like VBB or whatever. And, and there was like websites that were just like lists of exploits for forum software that would be used everywhere. So you'd be able to like just take a, a, a the link for a page on a forum. Like there was one forum I remember. There was like a, a problem with the search function on the forum, and mm-hmm. it didn't like strip out special characters, so you could include JavaScript in the search. And you, what you would do, and this isn't yes, like my, this is just like a type of like way to steal people's information is you just <laughs> send people a link to something that includes that URL, and um. then it redirects to whatever you're trying to link them to. So, and the way it does that is that you link them to the the search page with the JavaScript in there, the JavaScript will capture their like cookie or their session data. And then it goes to your website or whatever, a page on your website that copies that cookie and session data to a local file on your website mm-hmm. and then redirects them to whatever the target that link is. That sounds like hacking. That is hacking. I take it back. That's not, yeah, Nick's a fucking hacker. You're a hacker. Well, dude. it's not. It doesn't require any skill. I mean, it's like, you know, you just look at it. pretty skillful to me and stuff. Well, anyways, yeah, I did that. To, I remember reading through some guy's MySpace messages with his his girlfriend at the time, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> I remember, yeah, He's no, that, his private correspondence. <laughs> that's a hack, dude. That's that's a hack. Did you know him? Uh, no, not really. I mean, <laughs> but he used the same password for everything. Did he oh, say any yeah. funny shit? There? But like the passwords on the 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 form were like hashed. So you could get like a hash of their password, and then there used to be websites where you could just plug in like a hat, like an MD5 hash, and then it would run through like a list of already cracked passwords, like I in don't a know database. What hash is. A hash is a one-way mathematical operation. Ah, uh, yes. So yeah, of course, if you like, if you take a a, a word mm-hmm. and you hash it, it'll print out a 32 character long string. Oh, or however, fuck. whatever what the fuck that's unique to whatever that input is. Damn. Yeah, Dude, that's, that's how fucking passwords hacking. work. Dude, you're so basically what, what was going on hacking, for Vendetta it's a, guy. It's a description of... It's hacking, dude. It's that's hack. Of yeah, a pretty basic concept. Nah, yeah, incredibly elementary. Incredibly what, uh, what, was that, what was going on with that guy and his girlfriend, dude? Oh, yeah. No, that shit was great. Because it was like... Um, yeah, that guy used the same password for everything. I remember, like, access to his PayPal and bank account. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It was just like... Damn, this guy should really <laughs> change his password. What do you talk about with his girlfriend? Did they well, get in fights dude, it was so because she was hot, dude. She was cute. She was like this Latina or something. Oh yeah, I know her. Yeah, but like one of the I the cleaner it. ones, I guess. No. What are you <laughs> talking about? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I just that, I don't know why that word popped into my head. <laughs> no, she was uh, <laughs> cleaner one. No, I just remember he sent her this message. <laughs> you mean the lighter skinned one? No, no, no not even. Don't make, don't take it. That. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I don't mean. She meant clean. He, he means literally like that pussy was fresh. Yeah, you she's know. young. No, man, she washes her fucking pussy. No, what, like that's the kind like of Latin one? thing that they no, don't I wash mean, their I mean cleaner. Pussies? I mean cleaner in the sense that you imagine her in her village and all she knows is helping her grandmother with. Oh things. yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And you like sure. Yeah, you drive by and you're like fucking like 50s roadster or whatever and take your nine million dollar sunglasses off and you're like i'm gonna fuck you <laughs> yeah. she's like no say but you know like she just wears like flower dresses with her giant yeah, tits yes. just, Abuelita. right she doesn't like know to innocent the, yeah in like that that kind of okay yes. all right i don't know anyways i remember reading this guy he's like you know telling her he loves her all the time and one time he wrote this message it was like I mean, I really hope there's no fucking identifying. <laughs> there's no way to identify. No, no. Just my some guy. doesn't even exist. Anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's I not know, even there. Like, like God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, yeah, you know, hey, they, you came up on that podcast. <laughs> Apparently, somebody stole all of your. <laughs> no, no man. there's you no way. You didn't say anyone's name. He was a yeah. stranger. You'd never even met him. Yeah, no, it was just a stranger. I just like, I just, it was like. Just like a like pulling a list of of pat like I mean I had seen his username but I never interacted with the guy and like yeah I just you knew him from a board or something I didn't even know him really I would like see his post but yeah I mean any more than I like 
you know, I mean, I, I like I know anybody on the fucking subreddit. I might recognize like their username here or there. Mm. But yeah, he he sent her this like uh, like long like message about like just graphically describing her coming home from work and him like putting her up on the counter and like licking her pussy oh, and yeah. like yeah, you know, and, it is, and then that's she just nice. responded like. Like, LOL, that's nice. <laughs> oh, it was, no, like, it was like a paragraph and a half long. <laughs> yeah. It was like, damn. He poor was guy. trying to cyber. Yeah. I, I love cyber, bro. I mm-hmm. used to love cyber. Mm-hmm. Do you think he fucked her? Uh, I'm assuming they fucked, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. All right. Yeah. Good for him, then. <clears throat> Do you cyber at him? You still cyber? Yeah. It's, me and so, my girlfriend just. We're in opposite rooms. You're in the same, yeah. She's mm-hmm. in the, the same kitchen, apartment. The yeah, that's yeah. a fun millennial thing, huh? Yeah, it's so millennial, dude. I love to cyber with my fucking wife. Yeah, I do land parties where we all cyber. Do you cyber? <laughs> now that you're a relationship guy, um, I'll cyber, dude. Yeah, I'll cyber. I like to get descriptive. You I know? mean, what is cybering now is just like uh, sending dirty text messages. Yeah, that's and what pictures. we're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I used to think it it was stupid, but now it's great because I don't really have anything to say anymore. And cybering's a lot better than... Oh, than actual conversation. Oh, yeah. Because it's basically you're just narrating fucking. Right. Which we can all do. Instead of, like, having to pretend to be interested in anything I did that day and relay (laughs) it with, like, any degree of excitement. I used to kind of run out of steam on the cybering thing because I just didn't know enough sex stuff to describe. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, oh, then I'm... And I fucking get a boner and put in your pussy, and then <laughs> and then I'm humping you. I'm, We're just uh, I'm humping <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, bitch! I'm, I can't wait to get home and hump and your hump. pussy. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never uh, even fucking fingered or anything. I never. Oh, even you seen were cybering post. before fingering. Oh yeah, I was cybering at like thirteen. Shit. Oh right, right, yeah. right, right, right. I think I fingered at like fourteen or fifteen. Fifteen. Nice, know. dude. Yeah, it was uh, March uh, 28th. It was a for real? First finger. Yeah. Salute. And she did not come. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course she didn't come. What are you talking about? She didn't even fake it, man. What a bitch. Uh, I remember the first the first droplet of pussy juice on my, on my pinky. That's how I fingered, by the way. Fingering is so funny. I still think it's funny. What do you, what's funny about it? It's cool. Well, you know how, like, in porn, like, girls that can squirt, there's, like, a type of fingering that yeah, they do. Yeah, you gotta do go, like, where it's, like, yeah. Up and in and fucking bop, 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 bop. If I was more of a sex nerd, I would, like, really s- try to study that and learn how to do it. But yes. I'm too lazy to... It's the, the, I don't. I think you could figure or it out. Or is it the girl's fault for not squirting? The yeah, girl her needs, has to broken. know how to squirt. Her pussy's... Yeah. I've only had squirting happen through fucking. Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, I've had maybe gushing f- from no, my, from no. my ass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a diarrhea. I uh, anal gush. When, when I first got here, I went on a couple OK Cupid dates with this like thirty-eight-year-old woman with large-ass titties, this mm-hmm. redhead, and I ate her pussy for like an hour, and this bitch was. I think she literally was pissing on me because okay. she was squir. At first, she was squirting, and I was like, "Nice." That's so funny. And then funny, it dude. just kept I hope, going. I hope some old woman pissed all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> it was on her couch, which is a weird move. She didn't oh, stop. Oh yeah, you're a squirter. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not even touching you, and you're squirting. And then I raw dogged her, and then uh, she just unfollowed me on Instagram and never spoke to me again. Yeah, I'm no good at fingering. Yeah, I'm not good at it either. Because uh, I, I use it to demonstrate my hand strength. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, 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 You're like, are you, you even trying your, to clench your pussy? Uh, yeah. Your grip, tra- your grip. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you've been grip training to grip a pussy. Yeah, I like to go bowling ball method. I mean, you know, deadlifting, in the deadlifting, asshole. 135 pounds, not impressive in the slightest. But you do it with sopping wet hands. <laughs> I oh, know we're in business, especially with only one finger on the bar, which is what I call the pubic bone. <laughs> the thing is, if you get your bench press high enough, you can literally tear a woman in half. Mm. Is, that what, is that your ultimate goal? How would you oh, tear a woman know. in half? Like you take her legs and tear <sighs> up from the pussy? No, you grab her neck and then you grab her pubic her bone. Pussy. 
and then you rip her in half like from the uh, waist. You mm, rip her waist. You rip her waist in half. Yeah. Oh, I would think. And I was Elizabeth thinking, Warren. We're coming for you. <laughs> Amy Klobuchar. We're not gonna we're rip for you. <laughs> Kamala to be Harris. Clear, we are not threatening to rip any. We're coming presidential for you. candidate. By yeah, the why don't why the why is Cory Booker's fake girlfriend? We're coming for you. Well, we are coming for you sexually. I am going mm-hmm. to have sex. Yeah, with she's so. Tight. How about Cory Booker? More like Cory Booker, a cab home at nine p.m. after you're done pretending to have sex with your girlfriend. <laughs> dude, Cory Booker is so pimp. Dude. Cory, Cory Booker has a has a doctored video of him having sex with Rosaria Dawson <laughs> that he plays on a seventy inch screen pushed up to his bedroom window so that the reporters see it. <laughs> <laughs> He's Meanwhile, got a deep fake, a deep from, fake of himself. from Alexander. Yeah. Yeah. The sex scene from Alexander. The Meanwhile, <laughs> yeah. He's holding hands with some guy at Ben and Jerry's <laughs> in Vermont. <laughs> Talk about legendary uh, yum yums. Who? Rosario. Rosario. Oh. Fuck, she's so hot. She's she's more so like, hot. I'm sorry, oh, I got so f- ugly in old age. No, no you, <laughs> you were saying this recently, <laughs> that she's ugly. That's no. a wild take, bro. Yeah. I, well, I said it one time and I didn't mean it. And then you were got, wrong. And somebody yeah. got really mad, so yeah. now I repeat it. That she's uh, ugly now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got a girlfriend, Corey? Too bad she's ugly now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hope, I, hope, uh, I hope there's, you know, here's the thing. And I don't know if we would get in trouble for this, but if you go to a Cory Booker event mm-hmm. and at any point he says, uh, he mentions my girlfriend, if you're able to yell, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> and it somehow yes. gets picked up by yes. a camera. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can have the show. Take the show. Yep. Take Honestly, the show away. Honestly, you get the full <laughs> yeah. Patreon. Yeah. What's his name? If someone can incredible. what's his name, Cory Booker, and it can't be on social media. No. It has to be in real life. No, no, no. No, but we need we need video evidence of it. That is a dream, dude. Mm-hmm. That would be. But incredible. he is actually gay, right? He is gay, but he won't say it, which is weird. Yeah. I mean, you can only barely be black and be the Democratic nominee. Right. You can't be, which is weird because closet gay seems gayer than regular gay now. Hundred percent. Like if I were a closet gay, I would lie about being an openly gay because I wouldn't want anyone to think I was closeted. <laughs> 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 that makes a lot of fun. Yeah, no, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? That makes that's sense. Completely. If you think yeah, about it, be like, no, of course I'm gay. I'm no, not. No, I'm really gay, huh? I'm <laughs> actually gay and I don't have any problems with it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not secretly wishing I could pretend I wasn't gay. <laughs> There is definitely closet closeted energy is gayer than regular gay. I of course, you're getting at. because well, there's it's yearning. It's there's sneaky. yearning. Yeah, there's no, it's yeah. Not there's yearning. It's the sneakiness. No, it's yeah. There's a as a sneaky person yourself, you wouldn't the understand them. The disappeal of sneakiness. What are you calling me sneaky? I don't know if that's a word or not, but I like it. Disappeal. Yeah. Are you why are you disappearing? Yeah. All of the Coca Cola disappealed. <laughs> Is disappeal a word? Probably not. No, unappealed. What? Disappeal. Unappealing. Uh, English to Croatian dictionary. <laughs> That's so a I word. Guess it comes up somewhere. That's a word. It is a word. <clears throat> yeah, I'm. Uh, I w- I would be upset if Cory Booker wasn't gay and he actually got to smash Rosario. Oh. Here's what I'm wondering. In these in these beard relationships, do you at least get one crack at the pussy just to be like, let me see, let me just check it out. Maybe I am straight. Well, that's why you always meet those gay guys that are like, oh, yeah. I mean, it took a while to figure out I was gay. Dude, I had sex with like four million. Those women. guys <laughs> fucking drive me crazy. <laughs> You're about a fucking gay guy that was just slamming pussy in high school, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. all I I didn't even catch a whiff <laughs> until like. Damn, you're pretty college. mad about this. I am mad, dude. Yeah, you're getting. Hot, Give me so. some of that pussy, gay man, from back then. Yeah, it's unfair. Mm-hmm. They just fuck. I'm so mad at all that pussy they no, were fucking. No, dude, there's only the now stuff. There That's isn't. True. Mm-hmm. You can't worry about that. Bro. Yeah, imagine I you never like, understood you're that. dating a woman, you find out she fucked a gay guy, and you're like, what? You're fucking gay? <laughs> you're like, what? no, I don't. You fucked a gay guy? <laughs> yeah, that makes you gay. <laughs> you're like, what's Am wrong I with gay you? gay now? It's like I've been podcasting too long. <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> I don't know how to approach anything logically. <laughs> it's all backwards. It's all just in inverse nonsense. Ah, uh, fuck, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I'm jealous of those gay guys in high school that fucked more than me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they were also such good friends with the girls, too. Yeah, that's that's all it was, was being like, just being charismatic and dancing and friendships, listening to their feelings. Yeah. Oh, I was saying, I don't understand when people say there's only The pillow talk must have been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All the gossip. Oh, my God. They must have been spilling tea left and right. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that would be, that would be cool. To fuck a gay man. I guess you guys are right. Yeah. They have the best posture. Yeah, Absolutely. why do they all stand up so straight? Because of the British Army. Because <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're working out. They're all in the British Army. <laughs> they're all working out. <laughs> they got great lumbars, dude. The lumbars on those boys. I'm gay. Please suck my fuck. Uh, you are not allowed to have a gay sex in the POW camp. Uh, the Geneva Convention specifically states that officers are allowed to engage in gay sex with their men. Yes. The you will only do work, no gay sex. I refuse to work until I'm allowed to have gay sex with my men. My collection of little men that I fuck and suck. <laughs> There's a movie. Yeah, dude. instead of the bridge over the river Kwai, it's the guys under the bridge Kwai. <laughs> it's the, guy, the guys under the river bridge. <laughs> Suck on to my little dick. Oh, I was saying, I don't understand when people say there's only the now. What the fuck is that about? What it's some like some about? Oprah kind of shit that girls say. Or just like be present, be in the moment. In the, yeah, like in the, the moment. The past doesn't exist and there's no future, there's only now. What the fuck does that even I mean? I guess there's also like people that say that everything is happening all at once too, you know. That's fucking so stupid. That's stupid too, right? I, I don't get any of that shit. Shit has happened before, shit's about to happen. Uh-huh. So I'm thinking about, maybe I get when they're like, don't think about the past. <laughs> Cause it's over. Okay, fine. That's kind of why they're saying it. They're saying, but the don't shit's dwell. about that. There's other shit that's going to happen. Right. How m- and if we forget our past, we're bound to repeat it. Right? Yeah, that's a kind of like uh, emotional relativism that just is like stupid yeah, for the I most don't part. Get it. I used to get into an argument with a guy that would do it with like, you know, he's like, "What the fuck does it matter what orientation you are?" He's like, "Sex is just sex," and I would always be like, "Well, then fuck your mom." <laughs> Why don't you call up your mom God and ask to eat her pussy right now? <laughs> if there's no psychological implications from like what happens to you sexually, then yeah, have sex with it. Go fuck a kid. Why not? Now we're talking. What's the what damage could it possibly do? It's just an orgasm, right? Anyways, yeah, I got that guy. You got his ass. I got his ass. You dude. owned it. Here I am, 15 years later, <laughs> proud of myself. An argument. <laughs> Thinking about it. Thinking, Thinking about, about it. <laughs> just how good I got that guy. <laughs> Hoping everyone else, all the other older black guys at the bus stop heard what I said. <laughs> so, oh man, young man laid some knowledge down on him. <laughs> <laughs> who's uh, who's Doctor Sebi? They were saying they, that he he's the guy AIDS. that says you can cure AIDS with smoothies. Yeah, uh, but they killed him. They were saying that R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle was writing a book or producing a documentary, documentary. on him. Yeah. And that's why they killed him. They got it because they didn't want that truth about they the didn't smoothies. Want the, truth out. the pharmaceutical industry was gonna fucking lose all their AIDS money. So fuck that, dude. Now we got to do a documentary about Doctor Sebi. Yeah. Did you guys see? Uh, Lisa, I left. I Lopez was talking about him too, and guess what? She got got too. She got got as well. Yeah, I mean, murders happen crash. all the time. It's just all people getting murdered constantly. Yeah, but that's what they fucking want you. To Someone think, was bro. telling me that. Oh, yeah, Coverage. stop. You were telling me that the fucking... Because it's crazy. Like, if, And this is going to be a long way to go and yeah. probably won't even won't be, be worth a, a point and not... Yes. But if you think about, like, all of, like, the murders that happen in an urban environment, right? There's people okay. just constantly getting murdered. Yes. You know, in, like, Chicago or whatever. And it's like, if you're not racist and you understand that there's, like, no, like... St- like significant psychological difference. It's like really the only factor is that like they're poor yeah. and there's like a yeah. lack of like social services. So they're like murdering constantly, but it like doesn't take that much to make somebody go like, Oh, I'll just murder this person. 
And if you're on like that end of the spectrum, you know, like you just like society doesn't give a shit about you, you're gonna go to jail anyways. You're saying that's in people's nature to murder. Uh, I, I'd say it doesn't take yeah. that much of a deviation from like whatever like place most people occupy which is like generally like middle class just mm -hmm. living your life well, you know, people I mean, go to war right? if you're like a celebrity or you're an elite in any way like to the same degree that they fuck kids they probably just have people murdered all the time yeah you're probably right i don't know i mean like why the fuck not I agree. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I think they set his ass up. If you're like, well, I probably will get away with it, you know? Right, right, right. I don't see why. Yeah, that Hillary happen. killed that Stop. guy. Stop. Were you saying the Ferguson protesters? Yo, were yeah, all they're getting, getting they're getting got left and right. Yeah, it's that is definitely happening. That I I don't want to be a fucking like conspiracy guy, but that shit doesn't even feel like a conspiracy to me. They're getting fucking got by the cops. It's got. I mean, yeah, dude. What the fuck? Who else? I don't know. Maybe they're maybe the projects are beefing. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's a little bit of East Coast, I've, West Coast. I've heard some rumors <laughs> that the projects may be beefing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that shit's fucked up. You gotta dude. stop this violence. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck, dude. Yeah, that East Coast, West Coast thing is great. Mm -hmm. What a, we need to go back to that kind of beef because right. it really only affects the people that have the ability to travel. Right. Uh -huh. What we do need is more coastal based Yeah. You know Let the solidarity. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like everybody does that dumb shit. They're like, Well, oh if aliens invaded, humanity would unite right. against them or whatever, which is not true. Mm -hmm. Of course they would. No. Under President Donald Trump. No. <laughs> yeah. We all know who would befriend the aliens <laughs> and introduce them to banking. Who? And then they're like, All you have to do <laughs> <laughs> You're using your resources very inefficiently. What's wrong with helping them? Yeah. They're visitors. All you have to do is convince everyone we're slaves and that we built these pyramids <laughs> that you gifted the world. And then and then we, yeah. in exchange we'll teach you pernicious banking tactics that you can bring back to Mars. They're not gonna be from Mars. <laughs> Why not? Because we yeah. know if there are people mm. there. No. Would you? The rover's lying, bro. Yeah, we got rovers and shit. Yeah, but we don't fucking get How funny it would be if they get into, like, the 35th movie in the Alien series and, like, one of those Prometheus aliens is, like, exchanging money with a Jewish guy from 3,000 yeah, years Yeah, well, Paul ago. Reiser, that's how it all started. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, and then, like, and that's the reveal the whole time. The movies were racist. <laughs> 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 watch. Literally all of them, which I don't think I have. I haven't watched any of those Alien vs. Predator movies. Yeah, I haven't either. I they get shitty one. reviews, but I enjoy them. <laughs> I'm sure they're good. I watched the first one. It was pretty good. Which one? Alien vs. Predator. Oh. Yeah. How about Cowboys and Aliens? That was one of them, right? Mm-hmm. That one's the gay sex one. Yep. They fuck the aliens. Heath Ledger fucks Partner, the aliens. there's only one way to get these aliens out of here. <laughs> That's fuck you got to hit them where it hurts. We got to <laughs> take their dignity from them. <laughs> We're not going to understand warfare. <laughs> they have a collectivist society. It doesn't matter how many of them you kill. It doesn't even register. <laughs> but you start holding them down and fucking them. <laughs> We've been doing that. He's just like the redneck that discovers. He's like a guy that owned a paint store, and he's like just a good dad. The mom died 20 years ago. They're like, Pa, what do you, you got one of them aliens. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to fuck it, son. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I used to fuck your mom while she was still here. Then the president's, you know, like, you mean wow. to tell me that all we had to do this entire time was fuck these aliens? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get me the Would an alien even understand Chief Justice getting what? fucked? I don't know. Would it feel like it was getting fought? Would it hurt? I Does it know. have an ass? Does it have a pussy? You know, it be depends fucking, on the type of alien, so... We'd be fucking its ear. And That's that the kind of hurt? question for Neil deGrasse Tyson <laughs> to answer. <laughs> if you ask him such a dumb question, he'd be such an asshole about it. I mean, that, just, all like, that guy does... his eyes and just, like, exhale for 40 All that seconds. guy does is answer <sighs> dumb questions. His yeah. entire career is based off dumb questions. No real scientist is doing actual work is, like, explaining things to fourth graders constantly. Yeah. That's yeah, but he, has, what the he fuck answers is he, every question like a cunt. What That's the fuck has he ever actually done? Has he, he gone to space? Shit. No. Has he come up he with any fucking science. invented anything? He no. asked to see women's thigh tattoos. Yeah. 
He's groped women. I guess that's pretty cool. But it's but not, it's not science. It's not science. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. What the fuck? Did he ever did he even do research? I think he was some sort of astrophysicist. Fuck him. But dude. maybe that's just what they told us, you know? What did he look up if he's ever authored a paper or some shit? Um he wrote the Ten Crack Commandments. <laughs> he ghost wrote for Biggie. Yeah. I mean, he was playing bass at a certain point. He was looking yoked. Well, that's just a that's a cultural thing. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Playing bass, looking yoked. Jacked black bass players. Oh, I see. That's a thing. He was jacked, though. I will give him credit. I want to be fucking strange, dude. Yeah. For violence, I want to get I want to get fucking strong so I can just fight people. In the just take karate classes. The gym's not for hurting people. Uh, it will be the, the way gym's I for uh, autistically obsessing over numbers. <laughs> it's basic math. The physical manifestation of doing math. No, it's <laughs> great. Like honestly, like that that's the absolute appeal of lifting. Is that like week after week you're like. Oh, and then maybe this number, and then this number, <laughs> and then it'll be this number. Like that's that's what makes it fun. Hell yeah, dude! That's yeah. not for me. I don't like numbers. We don't. I don't want violence. No, it, it is nice to obsess over numbers. Maybe I'll become a boxer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a butter bean style yes. fat boy. It's like I have a I have a glass jaw. When I've gotten in fights, it really hurts when I get punched in the face. My head. I've gotten a lot of concussions. One guy I've thankfully really only been punched in the face twice in my life. Really? Once recently. What was the oh, first yeah. time? First time was my friend Alex. I was just talking shit. <laughs> and he said, if you keep talking shit, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> and you learned your lesson. And then I didn't think he would actually do it. And then he did. And I was like, you're a bad friend. Nah, you, you get deserved, dinged in the you nose. You 100% deserved it. I deserved it, yeah, dude. Yeah. I, was, I was running my mouth. <laughs> but what I I didn't know that he was gonna punch me because he was driving, dude. He straight up punched me. <laughs> I was in the passenger seat. That rules. And then I, I was like, like "What guy. the fuck, dude?" That's cool. And actually. he said, I, "I told you I'd punch you in the face." I would think that's cool. He's cool. Well, folks, I and here we are. Yeah, I think that's the end of it. The end is near. Our dicks are small. Unless you have something else to bring up. And they will get sucked. Um, what do I want to bring up? I don't know. Unless you funny got Funny Moms tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow night's Funny Moms. Come the out. Eight. It's going to be my, my birthday Oh, Adam's birthday show. show. Come get your little pussy sucked. I'm turning 32, and you only do that once. So Damn. we're going to party. Like, like, a, like it's... Like, like I'm my- turning 32. Congrats, Pretty man. depressing, dude. Yeah. Gotta be honest. Yeah, that sucks. Not too excited. <coughs> but uh, have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. All right, folks. 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 All right, folks.